Drones, unmanned aerial vehicles. Just the name itself used to strike terror and fear into the hearts of citizens of rural towns. But things have quickly changed, especially here in Vancouver. Drones are becoming pretty mainstream with most people aware of what they are and what they can do. In fact, even physical drone stores are starting to pop up. But the drone we have here is pretty unique. In fact, it's in its name. This is the Unique Typhoon Q504K. It's a quad rotor drone with a 5400 milliamp hour battery that's good for up to 25 minutes of flight. It has maximum flight speed of 8 meters per second and a maximum height of 400 feet above ground level. All pretty standard stuff when it comes to drones, but the most impressive aspect of this drone is the software behind it. Unique may not be as well known as other large drone companies out there, but it packs a lot of neat tricks that you wouldn't expect. The first are the two smart flying modes. Once it's in the air, you can manually pilot the drone or use the follow me or watch me modes. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Now the modes are exactly as the name implies. Follow me mode will have the drone follow you at a set distance no matter where you go. You can rotate and frame your camera, but it will always move in the same directions that you do. It even accounts for elevation changes. Next, the watch me mode, which, well, watches you. In this mode, the front of the drone will always be pointed at you no matter where you fly it. Both modes offer manual override at any time, but the drone doesn't have sensors built into it to stop itself from running into things like buildings or trees. It's best used in large open areas, but unfortunately, those areas don't always offer the best camera footage. Speaking of camera, that's where this drone really shines. It comes with a 3-axis gimbal stabilized camera that can do 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 120 frames per second second and it's super sharp in fact sharper than the GoPro Hero 3 plus black edition that we have we don't have the new 4 series available but from what we've seen online it's pretty close the best part about the camera is the fact that it's removable the Q500 comes with a handheld mount for the camera so we can use it on its own as a dedicated gimbal stabilized action camera we did a few tests around the studio and you can get smooth footage while running with it seriously like full-on running with it you can pair the camera up with an app on your smartphone or use the drone's remote controller and that leads us to the third impressive feature, the controller or personal ground station as they call it. It has a built-in Android power interface at the bottom. You can adjust everything on the drone including GPS locations, control calibration and camera modes. Basically everything on the drone other than flying is done through the screen. It's bright enough for most people, but on those very sunny days, Unique includes a shade cover as well. So what's the Q500 like for flying? Well, Anthony used to be an air cadet, so he's basically a professional trained pilot. He read the manual over a few times, found a legal area to fly the drone, and had it up in the air within minutes. The GPS calibrates its home location automatically, and the built-in gyroscopes did an excellent job keeping it stable even in slightly windy conditions. Unique recommends not flying in wind speeds above 8 to 12 miles per hour, which is about 9 knots, but it's kind of hard to measure. So just use common sense, I guess. After trying all the flight modes, Anthony still prefers manual control. As cool as the two smart modes are, it still leaves you feeling uneasy since it could fly itself into an obstacle at any time. We wouldn't recommend trying to use the smart modes to get footage of yourself hiking or action type shots where it follows your car or something. Always have someone else who's trained on the controls, just in case. After all, these things aren't cheap. The Typhoon Q500 with the 4K camera comes in at $1,600 Canadian. The Typhoon G, which doesn't include the camera but has a gimbal stabilized mount for GoPros, costs $1,100. It's cheap in the world of drones, but it's expensive enough that you shouldn't be crashing it. Ever. And just one final word of warning. It's becoming increasingly difficult to find a good place to fly drones. In Canada, this includes the following. You can't fly within 9 kilometers of airports, can't go above 90 meters, or go closer than 150 meters to other people, animals, buildings, structures, or vehicles. So basically, technically speaking, the only place you can fly it is in a barren desert. Luckily, you can easily and safely transport the drone there. Everything, including spare blades, come neatly packed in a very heavy-duty hard case. This bad boy right here. That about wraps it up for this review of the unique Q500 4K. We think drones are pretty fun, but what about you guys? Leave a comment down below if you've flown one before or if you would like to. 
You can also click here for more videos or tweet at us over here. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll, uh, we'll see you later.